Hey guys, John here. Today we're in the Arturia Mini Freak V and today's patch is going to be interesting because I've called it Neon Cloud because it kind of, it feels almost retro-y kind of vibe too, which is kind of interesting with this synthesizer because you can get retro sounds out of it pretty easily, but you can also get newer digital sounds from it as well, which maybe that's part of its charm. But anyway, we're going to be making something kind of like this. Okay, so let's get into it. And as I said before in the previous videos, we're basically gonna be using for the whole week external compression and external reverb because I feel like that gets the best sounds out of the synth. So anyway, let's go ahead and turn off our in-house effects here. And then on our channel strip, we have, is it this guy? Yeah, so let's turn off our reverb for now. So let's just disable that and then bypass our compressor. So bare bones, it'll sound something like this. So yeah, somewhat kind of uninspiring, right? Which is why I'm saying put a huge emphasis on some of the external processing because it really, really helps this thing shine. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. So for this guy, let's go to a new preset and let's take a look first. I don't think I changed the main volume. No, so we're still at zero, so that's fine. So basically what we're doing, we have basic waves for both of these. So it's a very basic patch, which I guess, you know, back when it was kind of really you had a limited choices compared to what we have access to now. So... With that being said, we have our basic saw wave. Which is really nothing crazy. We really don't have to change this guy at all. But for the second oscillator, we do have to change some stuff. So let me bring this maybe down like that. Maybe so we can see both. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so our second oscillator, this volume here is going to be at 54. So let's go ahead and bring that up. And for this, let's turn our first one down just so we can kind of listen to the second one. So a couple things are happening here. So we're changing the morph over here. We get a square wave. And then the symmetry knob here, 49.2, 49.2. So we have this, but also we're doing a little bit of modulation for this, guys. You can see these kind of moving and you can see like the, the little dot here or whatever that is, that light kind of moving back and forth. So we're gonna be moving that with an LFO. So if we go down to the advanced section, we can see that this first LFO is actually going to be moving this here. So what we need to do is basically modulate this bad boy over here. So we can first kind of copy some of these settings for this LFO. So this one's running really fast, right? So what we need to do is change this retrig from mono keyboard to free. And then our rate here is gonna be 13. So we can bring this down like that, 13. So it's much slower, kind of like this guy over here. Now, if we want to modulate this guy here, the symmetry, we can click this plus here and it's going to highlight this and we're going LFO one to our timbre here. So let's start adding a little bit of modulation and let's see how much we added here exactly. So here in our matrix for this guy, LFO one for the timbre, we did 10.4. So we're actually pretty close. So 10.4 and now we need to focus on our filter so we can bring this guy back up here. The nice part about this is we can hold down something or play something and this this pulse with modulation, it's just gonna slowly kind of change things through and then we also have the chorus on top of that. Even hitting one note will just kind of change through timbre the whole time. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so now let's focus on the filter. So we're using the low pass by default. In this case, we're actually gonna not be using the envelope amount. We're gonna be using this with the same LFO. So it's kind of doing two things at once. So this cutoff is gonna be 88. So let's bring this down to 88, something like that. And then same thing as well. We, got, we need to go to this plus here and it's gonna show us this guy here. And then LFO one, we're gonna be modulating this just a little bit here. Let's see exactly how much we have for the cutoff. And that is gonna be 8.7. So something just very subtle. And then our resonance is going to be 34. OK, 
okay, pretty sweet. So we can, for now, I think we can, I don't know, do we have glide? Yes, we did have a little bit of glide, which I, oh man, I love glide. So 0 0.096 for this guy. And it should just be kind of a little bit of a subtle effect, nothing too crazy. Okay, so now one of the things we need to focus on is going to be our envelope. So for this guy, I believe for the most part, it's going to be the same 50 and 0 for the attack. Let's see, 50, 0, or 0, 50 for the attack. Sustain is going to be at 50, which is fine. And then we just pretty much bring up our release at 32. Okay, so now we're in a spot to start working on the effects so we can go back to our home tab. And for our first effect, let's take a look at this guy here is gonna be our chorus. So the difference with and without, or without and then with. Never, under, never underestimate the power of chorus. So this preset here for the chorus is gonna be on Lush. So let's go ahead and change it to Lush and turn this on. So basically our depth is going to, or rate's gonna be 4.5. I kind of move that a little bit, 4.5. And then our depth is gonna be 62. So rate 4.5 and depth 62, so our defaults. But one thing that we do need to crank is the dry wet to 45.6. And it already does sound lush, like that preset does, that's a good, actually a really good name for that. Okay, so let's go on to our next one. So our next effect is going to be, you probably guessed it, delay. Let's turn this guy on. So for this delay, we're going to be using the ping pong sync. I'm just a sucker for ping pong, I think, at the end of the day. So ping pong sync. And did we change our timing? We did not. One over eight. Feedback's going to be 46. So we're going to increase that to 46. Oh, I did the same thing. So 46. And then level is going to be 59.6. Okay, so we're pretty close. Okay, so next up we have the third effects here. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on. If we take a look here, for our third effect, if we turn this guy on, we're gonna have some distortion on tape. So let's go over here to the distortion and let's change this to tape. And that's kind of a lot here. So our gain's gonna be at the top, no high pass or low pass filtering, but our dry wet's gonna be small at eight. Because we really don't need much. Just adds a little bit of extra sparkle to it. Okay, so nothing too complicated here. Okay, so here's where some of the fun happens here. So on our mini freak, so what we, what we need to do, so our main patch, let's go ahead, we have our effects back on so we can turn on our compressor. And here's the big difference with external compression here. So let's go ahead and do something similar on our next one. So let's load this guy up. And what's really cool about this compressor here from Yuhi is that we can always use this first default interface, but if we want something quick, we have all these different views, right? So we have easy compressor, vocal compressor, drum, all this other stuff here that you can explore if you'd like to. So for this, we just really need an easy compressor. And for this sound, four to one is probably more than enough. And let's put our threshold all the way at the top. Maybe a little bit of a faster response might be kind of fine. And that's what's nice about this compressor. It's so easy to dial in and it sounds great. Maybe some soft clipping, why not? And let's go uh, change our threshold to something that we like.
Clicked on this guy here. I was like, why am I not seeing needles moving? That might be kind of okay for now. And with this compressor or compressor compressor happening, it really kind of brings out that distortion that we have here in the effects. So if that's something that you like, which I do, but if you don't like it, we can always disable that here. And it still sounds good, it's just a little bit softer, so that's totally up to you if you want to use that external distor or internal distortion, I should say. And it really depends on what you're mixing this in. Maybe it's kind of a song where there's a lot going on and you might need a little bit of that extra distortion kind of, to kind of help it pop out or be a little bit more present, but that's totally case by case basis. So with that being said, now we can route this to our reverb here. So let's turn our reverb on and route it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to play this patch. So if you would like to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and make some cool music with this guy. It's a lot of fun to play. Yeah, anyway, we'll see you in the next video.